Hi everyone. Now in this session, let us discuss conversion of Mealy machine to Mohr machine and Mohr machine to Mealy machine. Here the objective is convert the following Mealy machine into its Mohr machine. As we know that the given Mealy machine in which states inputs are inputs as well as the outputs both are associated that means these are the states and these are inputs and this is output so for mealy machine as we discussed previously all the outputs of a particular states are associated with the inputs like this we represent in mealy machine just by watching the mealy machine itself we can say which kind of machine it is just by drawing the just by observing the state machine we can say which kind of machine it is okay so uh, everyone has the basic knowledge of uh, observing which kind of machine it is but for more machine the outputs are associated with the states no output is represented here output is going to represent here okay so uh, while uh, the while for the conversion of uh, mealy machine to more machine one should have the basic knowledge of this particular table okay so what this particular table says here this says how many number of states are there a b and c states a b c states and for this particular state how many inputs are there and with particular input where it goes uh, how uh, where it goes and what will be the output so for state a it is having two inputs 0 as well as 1 when 0 is the input it goes to state b with output a that's what i have written for 0 input output is a and for 1 input output is a so for a 1 input also output is a and similarly for state b for state b it is also having two states one is self state for 0 input with output b and for 1 input it has another output of a that means you observe for B state there are two outputs B for 0 input A for 1 output that's what I have written here for B state with 0 input output is B with 1 input output is A similarly for state C also this is self state for 1 input B output for 0 input A output here for C state also two outputs okay so for C states also two different outputs. So for here A state only A output same single output. But for B as well as C states there are two different outputs for two different inputs. That's what essential to identify. Okay because for more machine each state will have only one output this is state and this is one output that output may be either only one output either a or b single output should be there whenever a particular state is having two different outputs that state has to be splitted according to the output for example this b state is having b output that state b can be represented as b suffix b with b output and the B state is having A output which can be represented as B suffix A with output A. Like that B state which will be splitted into two outputs, two states B A comma B B with outputs A comma B. Like that C can also be splitted as C A comma C B with outputs A and B. Okay. So after writing this table, we analyze which states has to be splitted and which states not after getting this idea we try to draw the more machine so this is our actual melee machine now i i'm trying to draw the more machine here this is state a so i'll keep some bigger circles for more machine because always the outputs are associated with the, the states only so a by a because a is having single output in the table we have seen for 0 input or 1 input A is the output. Okay. So that's why I have represented for state A. A is the output and B splitted into two states as B A with output A 
like this also you can write and we have b b with output b and like this c a also has two outputs then c b comma c b by b both a uh, a is having single state b is having two states with outputs a comma b understand now let us draw state b b upon zero input where it goes it goes to b it goes to b b upon zero input it goes to b that's what i am trying to write so a with zero input a with zero input it goes to b state with what output b a so that's why this state leads to b a by a okay next now we are at this state b which is having zero input with b output but here we have only a output so where it should go b a with zero input it goes to b b next b with one input it goes to c a c with output a so we have splitted c also two so b a with one output it goes to c a understand next now comes to c c has two inputs zero and one c with the zero input it goes to b state with input a having input a that means it leads to b a comma a understand so c c with input a goes to b a with the zero input next c with input 1 it goes to self state that is c with input 1 goes to c b b understand next a with input 1 goes to c with output a so c with output a means c a by a so that's why it goes to c a by a understand so a having inputs 0 comma 1 b a also having inputs 0 comma 1 C A also having inputs zero comma one, but what about B B and C B? It also having two states. Upon zero, it will stay in the same state. Okay, then upon one where it goes, B upon one, it goes to C A. So B B upon one. it goes to c a next c upon 0 sorry c upon 1 it is in self state so c b upon 1 it is in self state but c b upon 0 where it goes c b upon 0 it goes to b a c upon 0 it goes to b a understand c upon 0 input it goes to b with output a b with output a means b a comma a so like this it goes understand so this is called more machine okay so once you need to practice much more then you can easily understand what i am saying for this more machine and mele machines okay so here what are your observations in more machine uh, when you compare this mele machine and more machine when you try to convert a mele machine into more machine the number of states are going to be increased so that's why it is a little bit complex to construct so uh, that is it is difficult to construct a more machine the number of states will be more and it is somewhat difficult to construct compared to mele machine understand 
so first what uh, you have to do is you have to observe what are the uh, different outputs with different inputs based on the number of different outputs we need to split that particular state into number of substates so for b this is one substrate this is another substrate for c this is one substrate and this is another substrate because these two states are having two different outputs for two different inputs based on that only we have drawn this more machine understand so i hope you understand thank you